welcome to some popper games here. Uh, I took a challenge with a friend to make a deck featuring Heliod's Pilgrim. Uh, we're both going to play a deck with Pil the Pilgrim tonight at our local store. And uh, I've tried out several versions with the Pilgrim and uh, ended up with Boros. I usually do, I like the combination a lot. Um, but yeah, the deck is basically centered around Heliod's Pilgrim that can search up an aura card. So I have some different auras here, but I haven't gone all crazy and just jammed 20 auras in here because it's it's really not that great. So I have one Faith's Feathers. Uh, it's a very good card, gains life and allows me to play a longer game. I have one Imperial Armor. Not the best card to have later in the game, but uh, it's pretty nice to, to draw it natural and uh, it's really not that good against a removal heavy format like Pauper, so it's nice to be able to land just one. We also have two Inferno Fists. <laughs> they allow me to have an explosive start to go more aggro if need be and they're also another form of removal and reach obviously and I also have one Bonds of Faith it can pump Doom Traveler, it can pump the Pilgrim and uh, it's also pacifism most of the time uh, lastly we have two Curse of the Pierced Heart and yes the curses are auras so you can search them up and this is a very crucial part of the deck because uh, what I like about the deck is that it can be very aggressive we can go one drop into two drop into three drop into four drop and just beat down and then we have a lot of burn to close out the game but sometimes that doesn't work you're facing the 20 removal deck with electric Grace and uh, Evan Cars Justice and stuff then the Curse of the Pierced Heart is a perfect backup plan like every creature you play is worth more than a creature Doom Traveler is 2, Scorpion Hawk is 4 Hilliard's Pilgrim is 2 cards often the curse in that uh, game Rift Watcher is unfortunately only 1 card but it's life gain so we can play a longer game Aura Monster is 2 cards and Mistborn Griffin is 2 creatures so that allows us to play a grindy game instead. So if we can't rely on the beatdown plan, we can switch gear and go more defensive, use our burn and win that way instead. And that's also why I have elected to play two renewed faith in the main. I'm trying out the card but I've been very glad to have this actually. Either it could be gain 6 which is not very good but if you're racing 6 life is 2 lightning bolts that's pretty good and otherwise it's like uh, gaining a bit of life and a new card is it's pretty good because you don't lose the card and you you probably have some presence that allows you to keep punching and also I have one Celestial Flare in the main I have yet to draw it I think I think I've drawn it like once and it's it's okay but sometimes it's nice to have some kind of hard removal so uh, this is the deck I will be playing tonight at my local store and hopefully it will go well I've done we very well with the deck online so far uh, for the sideboard we have two core sanctifiers uh, they're just good they they do what you want them to do so that's great uh, two more celestial flares for the hexproof matchup uh, circle of protection red against basically burn but also killing fiends and other stuff uh, because it doesn't target uh, hexproof uh, and protection doesn't help three molten rains it's hard to beat like Tron and stuff that gains 40 life and then burns you out with uh, rolling thunder or whatever one echoing ruin 
that is supposed to be serrated arrows at least that's what I'm going to try out but it's also a pretty good card to have access to 3 power blast for the blue matchup uh, yeah it kills delvers and uh, it counters their counter spells and that's pretty good if you can resolve like a stagger shock that's fantastic and uh, power blast helps with that and two electric rays because they're just awesome and should be in the deck. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be playing now and uh, yeah, let's go over to a game and see what we can manage to do. Alright, we lost the die roll but that's fine. Let's see, can we keep this hand? Uh, it's a very good hand. It's on the draw. We need to draw planes pretty badly. I don't think we will keep that. Yep, this hand we will keep though. It's too bad we don't have a planes, but what can you do? We have true drop, three drop, and three drop, one drop. Bone splitter. That's not a good opening for us. So not a Doom Traveler, that's too bad. But it's okay. If we resolve a score on Hawk, we will have a pretty good shot at winning this game anyway. Only one land. I think I'll go with the Doom Travelers. It's better to play two perms here than uh, the score on Hawk. So let's see. Now it's kind of obvious that we drew the planes. He's still stuck on one land. So what we could do here is play the Rift Watcher or we could play the Score on Hawk. And I think I'm gonna be man efficient and play the Rift Watcher. Did he mulligan? I didn't notice. Oh he mulligan to five. Okay, I see. Yeah, so <laughs> a pretty non exciting start but he can still win. He probably has like Cloud of Fairies, Cloud of Fairies spell that is Sprite. There's one. And this is where Stagger Shock becomes excellent if we can resolve it, of course. I see. I'm gonna hit with everything and see what he does. And if he doesn't do anything, I'm just gonna pass. He probably has spell that is Sprite up. And if we place it, I will riff, uh, no riff, uh, stagger shock in that case. Now it could be like a ninja. Oh, we drew another land. I hope he doesn't have spell pairs. I'm not gonna block. Okay, let's take one. Spire golem. I see. Well, that's fine. Gonna kill that. And then I think I'll just burn his face. Chain lightning. Ah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna bash with everything. Probably Shane Lightning is Spire Golem. So, what will you block? Because I'm pretty sure it will block something. If it doesn't block, I'll play two Scoron Hawks. Okay, so he's gonna eat that. That's fine. I'd rather have a flying token. This will die next turn, so. Chain lightning that. And play another Rift Watcher. Could play a Scorn Hawk to play around Days, but Days is a pretty rare card to have in Pauper. Not many decks play that. So let's see what you have now. Nothing. Well, I don't believe you. And the Rift Watcher vanishes. We will draw. 
or do you, are you gonna do something in my upkeep? No? Ooh, missed Moon Griffin. That's pretty good. Now he can have a card like Exclude. Uh, I think if he has Exclude, it doesn't matter what I play. If he has, yeah, if he has any count spell that counters both, it doesn't matter. Um, but if he doesn't have a counter spell, I'd rather play Scorn Hawk, I think. And I guess the same is true even if he has a count spell. Ah, okay. He can still have other count spells, but if he wants to keep mana up for count spells, that's fine. I'd rather him use them on my creatures so I can burn him out. I'm not gonna play that. It's a pretty bad draw right now. So let's see what he has here. Nothing. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this as well. If he wants to counter it, fine. Still have two lethal creatures out next turn. It resolves. Interesting. Okay. But I'm gonna block that. I don't mind getting Score and Hawk back. Okay. So, red, we got Pyroblasts. At least we were trying to. We have Electric Grace. And that's basically it. Uh, Inferno Face is pretty bad here. Uh, it's hard to land it on something. Uh, Imperial Armor, same story. It is good if you can land it, but. I'm gonna bring in the electric grease. Celestial flare is not very good either. I'm gonna bring in pyroblasts. Hmm. Gonna cut that griffin for another pyroblast. Then the question is do I wanna cut anything else? I think I would cut the aura mancer for another pyroblast. It's hard to play against Delver because if they open with Island Delver flip, it's like yeah. So it's a pretty land heavy hand, but it got our colors and it got got a removal and whatever, so it's pretty good. Preordain. Let's see where the cards go. Bottom, top. Okay. Lands not ideal. Let's just put it that way. Ponder is fine. So I probably kept the ponder looking for a land. Not to shuffle. Okay, that's too bad. So, I'm probably just killing that. Or am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kill that. I could play a score on Hawk here, but that actually doesn't do much for me. Because if I play it, I can search up one more, and if the other one gets countered, I could search for two and discard a land, I suppose. Yep, that's a good card to have. I see. Thank you, Liz. No. Yeah, I'll just pass here. 
it's very hard to play against blue. I could play like chain lightning, but then if he has spell status sprite, that's bad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and burn that and hope that it works. Okay, that's good. Now it will be hard for him to play anything. What do we draw? Pyroblast, that's pretty good. I think we'll play Mountain. Try to resolve a Squirrel Hawk. I will fight over this because it's so important. Now if he has a spell status sprite this is pretty bad. Gosh. Okay. Did you find a count spell? Yep, the worst one. We will have to kill that. So now we're in a pretty bad spot. Scorn Hawk was important and we lost it. Bone splitter and pass. Or maybe not. Okay. We're gonna cycle this right away. Yeah, I think it will take two life. Ooh, that is pretty interesting. Gonna play that, and the only thing I can draw is Doom Traveler. So I might as well pass. I could try to jam it now, but I think I'll wait one more turn. Okay, that's bad. Now his card advantage is starting to hurt. If I can land this, that's pretty good. I will discard a card. He probably has two. But we will see. No, just one. Let's play this and see what happens. And now I think we jam this and hope for the best. Can't get excluded, that's good at least. Deprive. Yeah, nothing we could do about that. So now his hand is jammed with <laughs> uh, count spells probably. I won't play the pilgrim here. There's no point doing that. Okay. This is a ninja. It's pretty bad. What I'm looking for is an opening to play the pilgrim basically. Yep, ninja man. That's the boring part with mono blue because they always have what they need to have, basically. Or a way to find what they need. Okay, so you have spell stutter left. Hmm. Spell star can count something, it costs two. So let's play this one and see if it resolves. Yep, I count spell as well. Why not? And this is why 
playing against mono blue is almost impossible because they have so many count spells and so many versions of it it's impossible to play around them all. So our best draw is probably Stagger Shock, depending on what he draws obviously. It wasn't a spell. Or rather it wasn't an instant or sorcery. Yeah, I'm gonna block the ninja. What do we draw? That one won't be very good. I will just pass. He could have two spell stutter sprites in hand also. No flip. It flips on prohibit. <laughs> uh, this would be very hard. Now you can counter something big and you can counter something small. You can attack with like everything, then I would probably double block the ninja. Yeah, double block the ninja and next turn block the cloud affairs. I guess. Hmm. If I block the cloud of fairies, he will only have one fairy. So if I draw something. Yeah, that's interesting. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Gives me the best shot at winning. I think. Depends on what his third card is, obviously, and we have to draw something. Bolt. So, that's not good enough. If I play Bolt, he can play Spell Status Sprite and then play Prohibit. So, that's not gonna do it. We will have to pass and hope to draw something good next turn. Land. So now we can kick prohibit and play spell starter. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can't do that anymore. I was gonna block the ninja anyway, so. Best draw, probably still Stagger Shock. Bonds of Faith. <laughs> Too bad, human, human. Seven, I guess we'll pass again. I guess we could play Scorn Hawk. We place prohibit. Yeah, I guess so. We have to play something into that, and it pretty much has to counter this. Yeah. So we'll be taking seven. We can't do anything about it. draws a card, now we can have infinite counters yep planes, okay too bad, we can't do anything about that uh, I will be seeing you shortly no, oh right, we won first ha huh. ah, those games are so boring that you forget those things. Mm. Yeah, I still think I like the deck as it is. Yes. Okay, this hand is a deal. It has all the cards I wanted to have. 
because I've got a fast clock, a win condition and removals. So this is interesting. I can kill this or I can ignore it. <laughs> uh, so if I bolt it I can't do anything else. If I play this I can pass and hope that this doesn't flip then I can block it. If it flips he can make a ninja and that's bad but I think it's better to get this into play and just pass the turn. No, I will not attack. It's not sure that he has an Inia, but in my experience, blue players always have what they need and draws what they need. So let's see him draw count spell here or spell status. No, count spell. Oh, nothing. Whew, no blind flip. That's important. That's pretty good too. Now we will just pass again. No point doing anything else. No. Yep. Trigger and... Nothing. Okay. Sure. So he probably has a count spell, otherwise he would have played Preordain last turn. And we know he didn't do it this turn because then the Delver would have flipped. My turn. Another 3 drop. That's unfortunate, however. Because now, since we're missing land drops, we can't do much. And we're slowly but surely losing this. I would love to draw another mountain because that would allow me to do two things. Two bolts or bolt pyroblast and that will be very good for me. Not to shuffle. Yeah, we will take it. And no Nino, that's pretty obvious. Okay, that's bad. Would not have been sad to see a land there. Even though Scorn Hawk is pretty good, it's not very good here. Yeah, we will take three again. Or is this an Inya? He's thinking about it. No Inya. So I'm pretty sure I have to bolt end of turn. If you have spell status bright that sucks but I can't wait anymore. So we pondered and kept. So we probably kept like preordain and a good card. Bottom, top, okay. Bolt or insectile aberration. Let's see what pops out from your hand. Could also have gone for his face. Okay. 
Too bad. Pretty obvious that he had that. So now the ninja will connect, but can't do much about that. We're not drawing land, so we can't uh, do that much a turn. But right now he's not prohibited by his amount of cards, it's his amount of lands. So if you want to do that, it will cost him life and if he doesn't hit a land it will cost him his counter spell shield as well. Coral net. We have to discard or sacrifice. Uh, it's kind of interesting actually because I don't mind it being turn into a token Ooh, this is tough actually I think I will discard Heliod's Pilgrim yeah okay Still can't play anything. Or rather, I can play score and hot, but I don't want to. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I just kill that. It's worth it. We have the board presence, so if we can keep him from having stuff on the board, that's pretty good for us. And now, if he wants to play anything, he needs to tap out. Or if it's just a delver, he doesn't need that. Can discard a Rift Watcher to keep it. Keep it. Um, I will assume that I can push through the Squadron Hawk. I really hope so. Because now we have a lot of spells to play. And we have a blocker for the Delver. Even if it flips. So this is looking decent now. We're both stuck on lands, but okay, there's the fourth land. So this is why I like the curse a lot. Now, he drew his land, he can start doing multiple things a turn, but he's dead in a few turns to this. Uh, I think... If I discard a Scorn Hawk, I can attack with both and push in one damage. I think I will discard a Scorn Hawk. And we draw. Coronet is actually a pretty good card. Chain Lightning. Very interesting. I think I'll just push with everything. Yeah, that's fine. Then we will play Scorn Hawk. Oh, it resolves just like that. No, it's interesting. Do we play this? He could have another spell star sprite. I think I'm fine passing here. Okay.
No, flip on counter spell. <laughs> That's pretty bad. But it's hard for him to attack because I can just slap back. And if I draw a lot of land, I can play Rift Watcher that will probably draw out the counter spell. And then. Yeah, so that's very interesting. He attacks with both. Okay. <sighs> Do I discard a card here? I can push for two. That puts him down to one if he doesn't have anything. But what do I discard? Yeah, I will discard the Rift Watcher. <laughs> of course I drew land. So now I will attack with both. Then we will play score and rock number 3 or 4 or whatever. There's the counter spell, and here is the chain lightning. And that's why Curse of the Pierced Heart is so good. He had to counter the Scornhawk. Otherwise he was dead to the curse. So, pretty good showing. I'm uh, pretty pleased. I will bring you some more games right away.